Welcome to your morning back routine. First, some advice. Tack this routine onto all your other morning routines, like getting up or brushing your teeth. This will make it much easier for you to start your day right every morning. Let's start off easy by simply standing with our feet apart like this. Maybe with your feet pointing slightly outwards. Feel your body. Feel your pelvis. Stand straight. Your chin slightly tucked in so you have a good posture. Maybe you can feel some stiffness, but we will do away with that shortly. Start slowly, with your knees locked and a slightly arched lower back. Bend forward until you could feel the stretch in the back of your knees becomes too much. Then you tilt over at the lumbar spine, go down a little bit more, bend your knees slightly, let your arms hang like this, and remain in this position briefly. No matter where you are, keep hanging there. Breathe and slowly come up again. Briefly feel your body, put your hands on your buttocks, and carefully push your groin forward. Slowly or quickly, depending on how you feel. Go all the way back until you feel a stretch, maybe in your neck or in your groin or your back. Breathe one or two times and come back up again. Stand up straight. And move your hip to the right, go down with your left hand, followed by your head. Wait till the stretch is too much. Go back up again. And do the same on the right side. Shift your hips to the left, come down with your shoulder and arm. And think about how the various positions felt, how different they were. Come up again slowly, let your arms hang, and then rotate carefully to the left. And then to the right. And listen to what your body is telling you. And go back to a straight position. And with your knees locked, go down deep, allow your body to follow, your head, try and get as close to the floor as you can, come up again, and then backwards. Let your arms hang. Stay like this for a while. And back to the forward position. Go to the left. Make sure your head follows. And then up again. And then to the right. Follow with your head. And up again. Then raise your arms. Turn as before, but a little more. One side first. Then the other side. Maybe you're starting to feel warmed up already. And we go down again. But this time we're pushing ourselves to get down even more. If it hurts too much in the back of your knees, bend your knees slightly. And up again. First move your pelvis forward, then arch your trunk, and then your head, all the way back. And a bit more. And up again. And go left again. Turn your head even more, and also your arms. And now increase the turn a bit. And back again. Now the same on the right side. Head comes with, the arms follow. A bit more. And back again. And now, rotate your body in all directions. And feel where you have pain or stiffness. 
Legs straight first, go down. Knees locked with an arched lower back. Hold it as long as you can. Go ahead and rest your hands on your knees or, or legs if you want to. Breathe in and increase the stretch in the back of our legs. Then tilt over at the lumbar spine. Go down deeper. Bend your knees if it hurts too much in the back of your knees. Work your way down. Maybe even touch your toes if you can. If not, go as far as you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Try and increase the reach. And pull your head towards and between your knees. And up again. Stand straight, put your hands on your buttocks again, and move your hips forward. Your head stays, move your hips forward, a bit more. And let your arms hang, your head follows. Extend your head. Breathe. Further back on your exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. And move your body slightly to the left. Your pelvis stays. Your legs too. Your upper body moves to the left. And you can feel a different kind of stretch. Breathe into it as well. Move back to the center. And then to the right. Breathe in and out. Feel and enjoy this different stretch. Back to the center. And now turn your trunk to the left. Go back. Turn your trunk to the right. And back again. Pull your head backwards to the left. To the center. Pull your head backwards to the right, back to the center. Pull back even more. Slightly bend your knees. Go back even more. Push your groin outwards. Breathe. Slowly come back up again. And stand straight. Pull your shoulders down. And turn with both arms to the left. Extend your right arm. Bend it over your head. Overextend backwards. And go back to the forward position. Turn to the right. The other arm follows. And then extend while you're rotating to the right. And back again. And then move diagonally to the right. Diagonally to the right. As if your left hand wanted to reach your right foot. And then diagonally to the left. And reach with your right hand to your left foot. And then stand up again. And now, in this section, follow me as much as your body allows. If it's too much, take it slowly. Otherwise, follow my pace. Bend forwards, real deep. Back all the way, stretching back as much as you can. And then forward to the left, real deep. But backwards to the right, stretching. And bend forward to the right, really deep. Backwards to the left, stretch. And all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, bend backwards, bend forwards, and up again. Turn backwards to the right, stretch. Bend forward, come up again, then sideways to the left, Sideways to the right, 
sideways to the left, and turn to the right, and back again. Sideways to the right, and turn to the left, and go back, and up again. And shake it loose. Well, this brings us to the end of the routine. Thank you for participating. Here in the info box, you can find more routines, this one too, since I'll see you again tomorrow. I hope every morning from now on, I recommend six days a week so you can make your back pain-free every morning. Bye, and see you tomorrow.